So you want to add a keyboard and mouse overlay to your stream? Well, I'm guessing the answer is yes. Since you clicked on this video, don't worry, it's super simple, and I'll walk you through the whole setup. The tool we're using is lightweight, easy to set up, and completely free. No complicated installations or extra software needed. To get started, head over to the GitHub page, link in the description. This is where the magic happens. Once you're on the page, you'll see a list of files, but don't worry, we only need one. Look for the file named noboard rewrite 1.3.0.zip. It should be near the top. This is the main program that will display your keyboard and mouse inputs on screen. Click on the file and your download will begin instantly. Depending on your internet speed, it should only take a few seconds. Just click and chill. Once the file is downloaded, just unzip or extract it. Inside the folder, you'll find the .exe file. Just double click to run it. When it opens, you'll see a blue window pop up. Don't panic, that's exactly what we want. Right click inside the blue window and select load keyboard. A list of different keyboard styles will appear. Pick whatever suits your style, but I'd recommend XA7YT. It's clean and easy to read. If you want a clean black or white theme, those are popular choices too. If you also want a custom mouse overlay, you'll need a separate mouse file. It's a bit more complicated, but let me know in the comments if you want a full tutorial on that. Now that our overlay is set up, let's add it to OBS. Open OBS and go to Sources. Right-click, Add, Window Capture. Name it something like Keyboard Overlay and click OK. If it doesn't automatically select the right window, go to the Window drop-down and choose No Board 1.3.0. Click OK and you should now see the overlay in OBS. By default, the overlay has a green screen effect, but we can remove that in OBS. Right-click on the overlay in Sources and go to Filters. Click Add and choose Chroma Key. Name it whatever you like and it should automatically remove the green background. If not, manually select green in the color key settings. Now, whenever you press WASD or click your mouse, it'll show up on your stream. You can resize it, move it anywhere on the screen, and customize it however you like. If you found this tutorial helpful, drop a like. It takes one second and means a lot. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more OBS guides. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.